بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد فعود بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته إن شاء الله today I will be talking a little bit about cleanliness and purification and the reason, the bigger purpose of purifying ourselves before Salah. And inshallah in the next, this is this is the first episode of a two-part series. So inshallah in the next uh, episode, next week, we will be talking about what else we could do besides wuzu to purify ourselves before Salah, to feel the the true blessings and to feel the great rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whilst we are worshipping. So inshallah we will start off with the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said that cleanliness is half of faith. So cleanliness plays a big role in who we are as Muslims. This is one of the major differences that there is between Muslims and other and other faiths. Cleanliness is a great it's a key element to our faith and we should always stay pure and clean. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran about some people who the, they are established within the masajid, within the mosques. He says that in mosques are people who love to purify themselves. So he says that in the mosques there are people who like to purify themselves, who love to purify themselves. And Allah loves those who are pure. This ayah is referring to not only physical purity, but also the mental and the spiritual purification of a person. But today I will just be focusing on the physical aspect of how and why we should purify ourselves and prepare ourselves for salah and other worship as well. The Prophet ﷺ taught us how to prepare ourselves for salah. He taught us to ensure that when performing wuzu, that we use very little water and that water reaches every single area that it is necessary for water to reach whilst doing wuzu, i.e. our wuzu is performed correctly. But beyond wuzu, we have got to understand the bigger picture as to why we are doing wuzu, why we are purifying ourselves, why we are getting ready for salah, why we are getting ready for worship. The hadith of the Prophet wasallam goes, he said, the as-salatu mi'raj al-mu'mineen, that prayer is the mi'raj, is the ascension of a believer. We have to understand that this is referring to the idea that when we are praying salah, when we lay the musallah down, when we do takbir, we have to understand that in essence we are going to meet with our Lord. That when we pray salah, we are meeting with our Lord. You are taking time out of your daily schedule five times a day, seven times a week. We are taking time out of our schedule to go and meet with our Lord. The Quran states, "Inna salata kanat alal mu'minina kitaban mawkuta." That indeed prayers were prescribed for the believers at set times. So praying salah does not only require wuzu to be done correctly; it does not only require actually praying your salah five times a day but those five times salah have been prescribed on us at specific times i.e we cannot pray fajr at eight o'clock in the evening each namaz has been prescribed at set times and that has been mentioned in the quran in the verse in salata kanat alal mu'minina kitab mawkuta so inshallah we will talk about the other requirements the other the other requirements that we need before we start our salah in another video inshallah but namaz times have been prescribed to us we have got set times for each namaz so praying namaz on time shows that we are prioritizing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over our daily schedule that no matter how busy we are we always have time for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the way in which we pray salah the way in which we pray our salah and the um, the way that we do our arkan, it shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being prioritized over your thoughts and your distractions. So no matter what's going around in your life, what's going on around you, you always 
your main focus and your main goal is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like Imam Al-Ghazali says, that when one of you goes to meet your most beloved, you ensure that you are well dressed, that your, uh, your hair has been combed, your beard has been combed, that you are wearing the best clothes, that you have washed yourself, you have put the best utter on. Yes? You ensure that you have fully prepared yourself before you go and meet your most beloved. So why is it? Imagine, when we are praying salah, we are meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are meeting with Al-Wadud, the most loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how should we prepare ourselves before meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Inshallah, we will discuss that in the next video of how we should prepare ourselves before praying salah. And besides wuzu, is there anything else we can do to feel the true blessing of salah and other worship as well, inshaAllah. Wa ma'alayna illa al-balagh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, first of all, gives me the tawfiq to act upon what I've said today. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us all from the people who are both physically and spiritually pure. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us all the tawfiq to... Pray all our namaz five times a day on time. Ba'a jama'at. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us all the tawfiq to act upon what has been said today. Wa ma'alina al-balagh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.